Hey, hey guys. guys. Okay, so like, we're making candles. Yes. Have you ever made candles? No. I don't make them too good myself, but I'm gonna tell you how I do it. And then if you like it, you can do it that way too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so like, um, there's a few little extra secrets secrets to my success because I sell these candles pretty good I mean here at my store they just run out the little door after I make them mm -hmm. so we'll see this is the no fuss no muss method okay so right here is fragrance samples I've been awarded for who knows what reason I went somewhere some fragrances I bought from New Directions and a whole bunch of fragrances I got from um, Essential Depot, some of our favorites like Sandalwood and Dragon's Blood. And um, this right here, from here over, oh wait, we got that one out of pocket, didn't we? There we go. So, um, these fragrances here, I have never used this company before. And like two freaking years ago, I was at a, a seminar and they were gonna make they wanted to make me an affiliate they watched me on YouTube it's Paris's Paris fragrances and they're still in operation today and um, they were like I don't know something was going with my world at the time and um, and they were like we're gonna make you an affiliate we want you know and I was like oh that would be awesome I'll be happy to do some test videos see if I like your products tell people whether I like them or not because you know me Miss Honest and um, and then if I do, then I'd like to be an affiliate. And I kept sending her messages every now and then, and she's like, no, no, we hadn't got the affiliate thing worked out yet for the website, but we're gonna do it. And then somehow I just got lost in the mess. And so they gave me a box of stuff, and I did a review on it, and I think you can, I, I know I did a video on them at the soap conference I was at. I think it was a soap guild conference. Like somewhere I had to fly to get to, no, no. Yeah, Florida, Florida. And so I feel really bad about the fact that I haven't used their stuff. So, because you know, they gave it to me to do the test videos, but they were supposed to make me an affiliate. And I figured I needed to wait till we got the affiliate sorted out before I started doing the test videos. You know, and then if I like the stuff and you like the stuff, well then fine, you could use my link if you wanted to, but at least we would test the stuff one way or the other. So, um, it's rosemary, how do you think, it's springola? <clears throat> springola. Springola, uh, at Paris Fragrances, and um, it's parisfragrancesusa.com. And so this right here says Paris Fragrances and Cosmetic Supplies. There you go. So you can Google them and look at what they have. But for the meantime, I'm explaining you that and I probably, I love you going, get to the point, Kimberly. Okay, so, I'm sorry. So we're gonna get to the point. All right, so uh, we are, what I like to do, and this is my own little secret, and you may find that this is inappropriate for you, but what we do is we mix and match. Do you like that? I love to mix and match. We like to mix and match. So this area right here, we're gonna like put stuff that we think would be good to mix and match. So now like vanilla, how many, here's, there we go, no that's honey. Do I have another vanilla? I thought I did, I thought I did, I thought I did. Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, so we're gonna smell the vanilla. But okay. just a plain vanilla candle, many people might like that. But we like to spice up our other fragrances with some vanilla. Mm -hmm. So now you know what that smells like. <clears throat> I okay. feel like vanilla and sandalwood. Vanilla and sandalwood? See. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. We're not gonna do the whole thing with you because you'll get bored of that and, uh, and, and everything. So we're just gonna show you how we do it right quick. And then we're gonna turn off the camera and do it when you can't even look. Cause those, all, all because of those people that said, get to the point, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> We'll pause the camera and come back. But I have this idea that this white tea and ginger fragrance 
might smell good. Oh, that does something to me. It gives it this little exotic flair that honey and vanilla has never had before. So that right there will be one of our candle combinations. And we will make a honey, vanilla, and a sweet ginger tea or some snot. All right, and so now another thing is we get these little one ounce samples here and there. And here's one that is an orange. Oh, and it smells very much like orange. Very fresh, very orangey. And here's a brown sugar. We have Well, see, I don't have enough in each one of these to make one because it's a sample. But if I find one, that it would blend with and make something totally unusual and out of whack, then I'm gonna sell that candle. I'll never reproduce it maybe, but I'm gonna sell that candle. All right, so we're back. I had a customer and to smell all of these and see if any of them really sparks enough that it could be a standalone in a candle you think people would buy it, okay? I have a Manchester Dragon's Fragrance. Manchurian. Manchurian Dragon Fragrance. Let's see what that smells like. What if we mix that with the dragon's blood? Is it dragons? You ain't smelt that nowhere before. I like that. Isn't it? Okay. Okay. Let me smell that one. Yeah. <laughs> See? See what I mean? And now this is going to be a sparking, sparking uh, candle. Like a right cherry Manchurian dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you see how I do it. Look at that. I'm going to break out in a rash, though, from getting this fragrance holes on me. Some of them are not natural. Mm -hmm. um, and so anyway, so we're going to continue to do this until we decide on our scents. And then we're going to bring you back and show you some of my secrets. So you've got to keep watching. Hey, everybody. There we go. Now I've got light. I was in the dark. Okay, so... One of my secrets is whenever they show you how to make candles, they tell you to like put your wax in this thing and then put water in your pot. Can you see it? And then you put your wax in here and you put it down in the water and you wait forever for it to melt. Hang that up, sister. We just poke the wax right in the pot and we let it go slow because see it's on low because we're picking our scents and we're getting our supplies together but now that we've picked our scents I'm going to put it on medium and honey we're going to watch this stuff melt and it is going to melt up really nice I'm going to put my lid on it okay so what's the flaws the flaws is, if you don't pay attention to your wax, you're going to burn it, and it will be worthless, okay? So you've got to watch this wax. You can't just abandon it now and, and decide to go use the bathroom or get on the phone with your friends. You have to keep an eye on it very closely because you've turned the heat up on it, and wax will... And so, see how our wax is melting without complication? Yes. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of liquidy. Yep. Well, let me video first and then I'll give it over to you. But see, if I can get it to where you can see it, see we're, we're very liquidy on the bottom. And we just need to blend the non-melted with it so that the melted doesn't get too hot being on the bottom. Okay? Okay, so... They tell you, you know, you got to use these metal containers. And that's fine if you want to go out and buy a bunch of those expensive little boogers. We buy these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. They're red plastic. They've got a good pour spout. They have a nice handle on them. We use these. We use the, the, also the spatulas that we get for a dollar a piece there. 
and uh, this is third. All right. And so here is our 32 ounces. That's uh, 32 ounces. So it is a pound of wax per uh, one ounce of wax per pound. And there's two pounds in there, so I'm zeroing that out. So right here is our white tea and ginger fragrance oil, our honey and vanilla. I used a half an ounce of the honey from New Directions, a half an ounce of the honey from New Directions, and one ounce of the white tea and ginger uh, fragrance from Essential Depot. And so now, I'm going to add this into two ounces because I've got two pounds of wax in here. I just got a little extra. It's like 2.1. Uh, take my spatula, drop that down, put that over there. I have to be so careful. I break out so easy. All right, so what what color should this be? Should it be a greenish color, a blue color, a purple color, an orange color, or a burgundy to mauve color? <clears throat> Could you use orange real light to where it turned yellow? Maybe. Even if not, orange would suit. Uh-huh. Are you in the camera? Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay, all right. You come right over here and get on this other side. So we'll do one drop and we'll see. Yeah. Gotta do like the very tall yellow candle. Kind of. It's mm -hmm. it's it's hard to tell. I think maybe I should do one more drop. I think yeah. that's gonna be almost white. See look. Mm -hmm. So let's do one more drop. And you can see how I tested that. I just put a little bit of it in the candle that I'm gonna put a candle of wax in there and, and that showed me what color it was gonna be. Yes. Yeah, so you think that's, let's see what it, when it dries. If it's put one more drop. Let's see. One more drop, it one still drop. looks pretty yellow. Yeah, but I don't know, I'm feeling three. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? One more drop. One more drop. And that was a significantly little drop. Well, that's okay. All right. Um, that I did. So I think that's the equivalent of three drops total because I, one sort of fell off of it before I had anything to do with it. And then another drop went in. Right. Okay. So now these are ready to pour. So what I'm going to do is, is you're going to move them here at me. Move them. Uh, get another one ready and you're gonna let me know if if I've got this to where it's to if it needs a little bit more you know what I mean if you don't think I fill it all the way up put a little more I'll tell you put a little more yeah did you turn the heat down nope you forgot I'll start pouring okay Whenever we turned it up, and I know y'all guys can hear me over there, we turned up the heat. Whenever, whenever you get done, you put it on warm, okay? Okay. Because we, we spiked it up a little bit to get that last little, you know, make it good and hot, but we stayed right with it. But all of a sudden, I saw some smoke coming off of there, which happens when we're training new employees, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so when I saw a little smoke tipping off the pot up there, which we ru could run my wax, uh, I knew that Ruby had not let turned the heat down from a high temperature, and uh, and so that meant that we were just gonna murder you, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now listen to me. Okay. We're not ready for the candle uh, uh, things yet. Yes. We got to wait for this to solidify a little bit. Okay. But we do want to get it over here out of our way. And what else do we need to do? Um, maybe wash, <clears throat> wash this and pour over a new scent to get some more wax. Did I throw away the containers? What was what scent was that? 
Um, it was these three. Okay. All right. So then we have to put these right here mm -hmm. so that we know what they are so we can name them. <laughs> if we don't, we'll put it in the sink. Yes. Get you some hot soapy water going in the sink. But first, just sit there and get me, a, uh, put, yeah, put some hot water in it. But I need another 32 ounces really quickly yep. before uh, our wax begins to solidify. Right. Because now it's uh, having to cool down a little bit, you know, because we got it too hot. So just sit it on the thing and make sure your tear is working. There you go. All right. So it's really fast paced when you're making lots of candles. Now for you, you might want to make a ton of this particular kind of candle, but I don't. I mean, I have a, I have a, a gift shop, spin, slash spencer, slash bath and body, slash uh, ritual supplies, slash mystic store, slash um, herbal shop or health food store. So I just need a few of each scent because, uh, but where you're gonna be making tons of it, you know, and maybe cause, so you're gonna have like, you wanna have a lot of stock of the same one this might not be a good method for that kind of candle maker, but for a candle maker that's wanting to make candles for your local, for your shop, for your store, or your personal use, this is the way to go in my opinion. And so this is how I do it. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do, smell. Ooh, yeah. And set, we'll set these right here. So this is peak orange. I had almost an ounce in there. Garden mint, I think I had about a half an ounce. And no, I had an ounce of that one. And then fresh fruit slices, I had about a half an ounce. And so I have, I, I think I have four ounces in here. And so I put one ounce of the Caparilla, how do you pronounce it? Brazilian drink. And it's smells. Caparilla. There we go. Okay, that was what we call a ruby pause. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get the edit just right on that. Okay, so it's on a scale here on my stove. And so I have a tray. Uh, I'm not sure what you can see and can't see. So I have a tray back here to protect my stove. And it looks like we're getting real... Uh, I don't know. What... I had that tear a minute ago. I don't know what happened. Well, that's how I do it, but I'm just gonna pour now. Okay, 32 ounces of wax. And so now we're gonna take it over here. Okay, so we're back. All right, so now I'm gonna, I've got my 32 ounces mm -hmm. of wax in here. Yes. And I've teared it. So now I've gotta do how many ounces of fragrance? Two. That's right, because it's one ounce of fragrance for, two, for one pound of wax. Mm -hmm. There's two pounds of wax in here. Okay. Smell it. What do you think? It's already radiating goodness. Oh, isn't that awesome? Let's make this orange because it has orange. We'll make this one a bright orange. Okay. Because it's orange slices, right? Yes. Look at me. I'm already stained. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do twice what we did in that other one and see what happens. And go get us a rag because I think this is, uh, that one was leaking a little and it's got on my yellow table and maybe we can catch it before it becomes a problem. I'm going to do two more drops. Okay, I'm going to do a lot more. I think maybe I might have got twice the amount. <laughs> I think that's leaking a little bit, yeah. Go get some vinegar on the corner of that cloth. But first, get me another 32, 32 ounces of wax. All right, so since I don't know how much wax, 
how much color I actually put in that because it's leaking or something like that. I don't know. It's doing bad things to me when I ain't looking. Um, this batch and that batch may not be the same color. And if anybody asked us why that this candle does not look exactly like that candle, we're going to tell them because it was homemade. Uh, we really liked the sandalwood and brown sugar, didn't we? Okay, so go put that in the sink. So let's put a whoop. Okay, so I have one ounce of brown sugar and fig from Peak Candles, which is closed now and we can never get again. Uh, they have a new website and I think they do sell fragrances, but I don't know if they have that one. Ooh, this smells so good. It's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, you threw that away. We'll need it for the name. Do you think this needs uh, something? Mm. Possibly. Maybe some honey. Okay. Put one ounce of honey in there. And now this is sandalwood and and brown sugar and fig. Does it need to be mellowed? That's what honey does. No. Okay. All right. So that was a good choice. Where did you find that honey at? Was it uh, over here? here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Jasmine. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's good. I gotta get up to a point level. Okay. That's very good. Let's stir it though. We won't know for sure. And we have to get we have to get another ounce in there. Now let's add a little honey. Uh, well, let me let me uh, just I think maybe a little bit more jasmine. Smell it and see what you think. Yeah, sure, a little bit more jasmine. So that's going to be two ounces of jasmine, one ounce of sandalwood, and we got it. No, no, we didn't use the honey. What was the other one we used? We used the. Uh, Brown sugar and fig. That's right. And one ounce of brown sugar and fig. So let's see what we get. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, I am going to put a drop just a couple drops of this uh, lily, and li lily and lilac in here. Um, and uh, I need another thing of those um, uh, of glasses. All right, so. Oh, that just gave it a little extra pop. Okay, so we'll bring you right back. Hey y'all, so now we're putting the wicks in the candles and whenever you put your wicks in the candles you want to wait a little bit after to so they will solidify a little bit at the bottom. And once you start seeing them solidify at the bottom it's really easy to get your candle wick to stick and to sit upright. Yeah, because at the bottom <clears throat> the wax is starting to thicken, right? Right. Yeah, and so if you try to put it in there ahead of time 
we've had all kinds of like this one isn't ready yep, all the way, so it's kind it, of yeah. like tipping to the side so we're just gonna put it in another one of our candles and see how that works draw them two in the back back there yeah matter of fact this one here is perfect I wanna, yeah i want to show them that up close hang on Okay, so on the top up here, it's starting to have this haze, so you can make a ripple in it. And, and of course, I've got to ripple all of it now that I've rippled any of it, or it'll show later. Yeah. But when you see this haze, you've almost waited too long. And you can really feel it. Like, when I touch the bottom, it, like, grabs it. I know. So that one there is perfect. And these in the center, you know why they're not perfect to be done? Why? Because they were warmer because they had... They were touching each other. Yeah, they were touching each other. And the heat dissipates out from the edges. So the center was uh, was not as... Um, oh, and we've moved them. Didn't move the camera. <laughs> and so the center was less. And what we did, if you can see over there, is whatever scent we used. We have dragon's blood and orange cinnamon. Ooh, and it's so sparky, isn't it? I know. Whenever you smell it, you can just feel. Oh, it's awesome. It's intense. Yeah, it's intense. And that's what we want. We want something yes. that when they smell it, they go, They're like, oh, I've got to have it, right? Right. All right, so there they are. And we're gonna make some more. We still got some more to make, right? Right. We're not done yet. But you've probably seen all you all want to see, right? And whoop, hit my hit my thing. And um, hey guys, so they've got a pretty top. They're evenly colored. Um, did really well. You gotta have sharp scissors. Ta-da! So these are Cranberry Sweet Scent by Paris uh, Fragrances USA.com. Uh, we love this one. It smells awesome. I think you would really like it for a soap or a candle. Um, now we're just going to put the lids on these and the labels. All right, so you can see here, here's how I sell them. Uh, some people buy those special stickers that has all the safety precautions for candles, but I don't do that. I just put the name of it, Dragon's Blood, Natural Soy Candle, one, burn within sight, two, keep away from flammables, three, keep away from children, four, trim wick after each use, five, burn at your own risk. Made by Essential Soap, our address, and our phone number. Uh, and also how much it weighs, which is eight ounces. So that is how I sell them. And uh, I live in a southern rural area, and we sell them for $6.99, as fast as we can make them. Okay, guys, so now this is just a little helpful hint. You don't have to do it. But I found it beneficial. Because when people see something that makes them smile or giggle or they find a little taboo, they often take it with them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we named um, um, the Lilac and Lily candle Sexy Buds. <laughs> and what's the one that we did? The pickle pitch. Okay, um, right here. Right here. What the lilac and lily, sandalwood, brown sugar and fig, and then jasmine. Okay, we named it the Fickled Witch. 
All right. And then what did we call the Manchurian dragon? Was it was it apple cinnamon? No, no. Oh, uh, that is the Manchurian dragon, and this one is called Bloodlust. That's right. And this one is the Manchurian dragon and cherry, cherry blossoms. blossoms. So we named it the Manchurian dragon just because I thought Manchurian dragons sounded very cool. interesting and cool. Uh, we get a lot of... Um, we sometimes get people in here who are a little goth and, and we thought, you know, Manchurian dragon, you know, swords, uh, you know, and dragons. Uh, and now what was the one we called bloodlust? Uh, that was the dragon's blood and orange cinnamon. Yeah, the orange cinnamon and the bloodlust, you know, we've got some, uh, not Harry Potter, what, what is that? Uh, the vampire uh, uh, twilight we've got some twilight people right so it's bloodlust and that's uh something cinnamon and dragon's blood and so you know that's for our um twilight fans and vampire fans um and then this one here which had orange and uh, i know i've messed up the label but it was some kind of oh. Brazilian drink. That's what they call that. And it was really awesome. We loved it. And it has garden mint and fresh fruit slices. So it's got a lot of fruit in it. It's a drink. Um, so we're thinking apple juice. Um, it's got a, a name. One of them has the name garden in it. So we named it the Garden of Eden. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just, you know, it's like the 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 Garden of Eden, and we it's the apple. We want the forbidden fruit. It's the forbidden fruit, right? Hey, we should name one the forbidden fruit. Uh, yeah. And uh, then we named this one passionate cranberry, uh, which we should have probably named it the forbidden fruit. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, so we've got passionate cranberry. Garden of Eden, Fickle Witch, Fickled Witch, Manchurian um, Dragon, Manchurian Sexy Dragon, Bud. Sexy Buds, uh, Bloodlust, Love Spell. Which what's the Love Spell? Love Spell is the lilac and lily candle. No, it's not. That's Sexy Buds. Love Spell is that. That's a Love Spell. The no, that's the one we haven't named yet. That's Love Spell. Are you sure? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Y'all only got six of them, and there's two, four, six. So that makes her okay. So we named we named this one. It's honey, vanilla, and t green tea. I mean, white tea and ginger. We named it Love Spell, and that's because I couldn't come up with anything. But Love Spell is a very popular, right? So anyway, so uh, so. And here is, you know, here is the uh, label on there. Um, and we are, you know, um, and, and so there you, there you have it. Uh, is there any of them that we haven't named? No. We've named them all? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so I just gotta figure out how many I need. <laughs> so anyway, so you know, it's just these little catchy names that don't have to have anything to do with what it smells like, really. I mean, think about it. If you go around naming them, whatever the fragrance name is and the fragrance name isn't that fun, you know? Forget that stuff, just forget it. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to tell you was is that I found that you've got to watch about, you know, your wax literally smoking because it's so hot. But we found that if we do this hotter, we're not getting any dips and depressions in the candle. And before, I used to always wait till the wax was 160 degrees before I would um, pour, put the scent in. But but with fragrance oil, they're, they're just designed. I talked to some people at the last soaping conference I went to, and they are just designed to um, tolerate hotter heat. Yeah. yeah, we stand heat. So, so you can put it in much hotter, and when you do, you don't end up with the air pockets and the depressions that I used to have on the candles. But 
I wouldn't fix them. I just stick a lid on them. And somebody asked me why, I say, oh, it's a, as soon as you light that, you won't notice it again. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody.